Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan. If you haven't been here before, I would really appreciate it if you hit that red subscribe button. I am a homeschool mom of two, and today I'm gonna to be sharing our summer homeschool plans. So if you're interested in seeing that, please stay tuned. Okay, so I have everything written down on a piece of paper here because I'm filming on my phone. So I have a four and a half year old and a just about two year old. She turns two in like two weeks. Um, so really not like a vigorous homeschooling or anything like that, but my four and a half year old will be in a combination kind of hybrid between pre-k four and kindergarten this upcoming year um he has different obviously has different strengths and weaknesses but he's a little high on the pre-k four but a little low on the kindergarten so he's kind of right in between um, but that's the beauty of homeschooling where i can kind of do a mismatch um whatever i need to do for him so with that being said, the thing we need to work on the most during the summer break is letter recognition and letter sounds. So my son is like a little boy genius with math, amazing at math, problem solving, uh, things like that. He's logic, reasoning, all of that kind of stuff. Amazing, perfect, wonderful job. With letter recognition, he's not... Um, He's not great with it and he gets really frustrated with it. So the thing we are using for the most, for most of our like, oh my fan is blowing everything around. Um, the thing we're gonna use to kind of help with letter recognition and just practicing our letters and getting, just, just getting more practice with our letters. Um, I actually created these sheets for my um, printable shop but I've created a bunch of different letter, um, we're also working on some handwriting, but some letter recognition. Um, this one, I only printed one sheet of each because I don't wanna waste a bunch of paper, but this one is find the letters, trace the letters and color the circles that have the letter that you trace. So like N is for nest, he'll trace the N and then he'll find all the N's, there's capital and lowercase. Oh wait, no, these are all, these are all uppercase. I have a lowercase one too. Um, these are all uppercase, but, he will just then color all of the ends. And this is just some daily letter practice and we'll just do a different letter every day. And I will probably put these inside of a um, dry erase pocket protector thingy so he can just redo it and he can just keep doing it over and over again. And then here is another one with, this is just the handwriting of the uppercase and lowercase letters. So, um, those are two printables that you can find in my shop along with a bunch of other ones. I will put the link in the description box, but you can just search The Culture Coop on Etsy and you will find these. And if you use the code SUMMERFUN, you will get 20% off. So if you're interested in checking out some printables and downloadables, um, you can get 20% off if you use code SUMMERFUN in my Etsy shop. So like I said, I will link that down below. Another thing we are working on this summer is just reading a bunch of books. Um, we read all the time. We read at the bare minimum, we read like two or three books every night before bedtime. Um, but I have been, we started Charlotte's Web as our first like chapter read aloud. We've gotten like that much through it. So not that much, a couple, few chapters in, but, um, I would like we have this book that our local library gave us a thousand books before kindergarten my journey to read a thousand books i need to update this because i haven't been writing in it like right now it says we've only read 35 books that is not true um i need to update it because we have read way more than that <laughs> um but every hundred books you read i can take this to the library or every hundred books we write down in here uh we could take this to the library and he could pick out like a little book to take home um 
So that's just my library's program. Check out your local library to see if you have any sort of programs like this. A lot of libraries have stuff like this over the summer to keep your kids busy um, while they're not in school or homeschool or whatever. Um, but this is something we are gonna be doing. Um, maybe we can get the thousand. We could probably get a thousand before, before fall, we'll see. But that is something we're doing a lot of read alouds. Um, the other thing we're going to do is a lot of experiences, a lot of like field trips. We have year passes to the Camden Aquarium in New Jersey. Um, yeah, we live in South Jersey. So we have a Camden Aquarium waterfront um, yearly passes. So we could go every day if we wanted. It's for free and we get um, discounted parking. So the whole day is like lunch plus five bucks for parking. So it's really inexpensive. It's only like 40 minutes from our house. Um, we actually might go there too. Ooh, not tomorrow maybe the next day um but we want to do that a lot maybe i'll take some like scavenger hunts or something like that um i actually have a math pack on my printable in my printable shop that's um like sea creature math or ocean math and um i might actually do that after our aquarium trip this week that actually might be a good idea i just thought of that but um the aquarium the zoo uh what else do i have on here like I said, we live in South Jersey, so we live right close to Philly and a whole bunch of historical sites. Um, we can go see the Liberty Bell, we can go see all this kind of stuff. So I think we're gonna read a bunch of books about different historical sites, go to go to those places, um, nature trails, all kinds of things like that. And then the other thing I'm gonna do, kind of sprinkled in is I have the Blossom and Roots Earlier's Volume 1. I have Volume 2 as well, but these are like a little younger, so they're more playful. But there's a whole bunch of different um, activities and stuff in here that I think, like a tree scavenger hunt, I think I'm just going to kind of pick and choose in here and use it less as like a full curriculum and just kind of pick and choose the different activities to kind of fit in during our summer so that is something else i will link this in the description box as well but this is something that i kind of want to supplement our summer and just keep us busy and having fun so that is everything i have planned this summer it's not a lot um we are mostly just going to play outside have fun play in the water um go on nature walks just do things like that um, like I said, my kids are little, but I still want to make sure they're learning, but kids are always learning. So the main thing we're going to be working on is our letter of recognition. So like I said, if you're interested in seeing more of my printables, um, go check out the link in my description box and use code SUMMERFUN for 20% off. I think I have like seven or eight in there right now, and I'm still working on five or six. So um there will be more and actually if you favorite my shop or follow my shop on etsy whatever it's called um you will be the first to know when i post more and you will get exclusive coupons sent right to your email email so if you're interested in any of that i will link everything i can in the description box and i will see you guys in my next video be sure to subscribe bye